It's my 2006 Chevy Impala. After having it out today in a uh, blizzard, I came home and found out that one of my headlights is out. So I will be changing that here momentarily. I had to go uh, look on the internet to figure out how to get this thing out of here, because it's not immediately apparent. There's a plastic clip, and there's a 7 millimeter screw holding it in. So when those come out of the way, I loosen this already with the wrench. Take out my 7 millimeter screw and pull up on the clip. Now the headlight swings out. As you can see, okay, now we have it out. We've got one big wiring connector. We'll take that off. And then I'll open this pocket right here where the lamp bulb is that I actually need to change. Okay, so look at the headlight assembly. You can see the way it's lying. This is your low beam. This is your high beam. That's the main connector that connects the headlight assembly to the car. So. If I squeeze this right here, this tab, squeeze together and pull it straight out. Come on, baby. There you go. This cover, counterclockwise, rotate, pull it open. And there's our lamp that we need to change, which for a 2006, that's a H11, Howard 11 bulb. And that is a H9 in the high beam if uh, if you need to change that. Um, that H11, that's the same thing as that driving light right there. So since one of my uh, low beams is out, which is this one, I'm going to actually replace them both. And then I will keep the other bulb over there that's good as a spare for my projector light down there. All right, so let's see if we can figure out how to get this thing out of here. Um, be a counterclockwise rotate, and it is. And out she comes, just like that. All right, since I got uh, only two hands to do this job, I loosened this up already. But see this little clip right here? Pull up on it, go up this way, and when you do that, it'll disengage the clip. Off comes the bulb, and this one goes in the trash. And then when you put the other one in, obviously do the reverse of everything that we just did. Make sure you don't touch this uh, glass, because if you get uh, finger oils or something like that on this, it'll make a hot spot on the bulb, and it will burn out much faster. And since these are fairly expensive, make sure it's clean. If you do get something on it, uh, Kleenex, rubbing alcohol, those are good. Um, I typically just uh, wipe it off with a piece of Kleenex, a dry piece of Kleenex, and make sure that you actually use Kleenex without any oil in it. Uh, if you get something with lotion in it, that would be really bad for that bulb. So, good luck. I think you'll have fun. It'll go quick.